The State Minister for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Musa Echeru, says the country has already started receiving heavy rains in some parts of the country, including Kanungu, Kasese, and Toroko, Tuke, Amuria, and Serere. He adds that the government is engaging all its possible efforts to support communities which are in danger. There are all signs that we are going to witness a landslide in the next few days. It is just a question of days. Because as we talk now, even the rains are pounding Mount Elgon. Echwer adds that the people living in areas where El Nino rains will hit have been advised to move away and join their families and friends in safer areas as government supports their evacuation. And the relatives have accepted, but they have only told us we have limited shelter. We have also limited household utensils. So, so is it possible for you, government, to come and give us a tent here in our compound so that we can host them? And then we might have now no food that can sustain them. So those, those are the, the, the understandings that we are entering. Cheru stressed that the government is likely to divert funding from other ministries to cater for the affected people during this long rainy season and that the president is ready to give in all he can to save people likely to be affected. The president assured the country when he was in Karamoja that even if to mean suspending some development programs just to save the lives of the people of Uganda, the government will do that. So I don't want the country to worry that 32 billion that has been uh, requested is too small. You know, yes, it is uh, modest, but it is something that we thought would be uh, uh, enough to get us started.